In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your internet speed for downloads and uploads on Google Chrome. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the three dots in the top right corner, and then we're going to select settings from the drop down menu. Now that'll bring you to this page, and what you want to do is select privacy and security on the left sidebar, and then we're going to scroll down in this section until we see use secure DNS. Now we're going to be turning this on, and once you've done that, by default, it'll be with your current provider, and what we're going to be doing is selecting a custom one, so let's turn this on. Then we're going to select from this drop-down menu, and you'll see a couple of very popular ones, Cloudflare, Google Public DNS, OpenDNS, and more. Now which one is best for you is going to depend on your geographic location. Uh, generally speaking, Cloudflare is a pretty good one for almost everywhere around the world. However, I recommend you test all all of these out and see how fast your internet is after changing it. So I'm going to go with Cloudflare because I've had great results with that. And once you're finished, you want to close down Google Chrome and restart it. Now, something else I recommend you do just to boost the speed of Google Chrome in general is to go up to the top right corner and select manage extensions and then get rid of any extra extensions you have because this is going to slow the speed down of Google Chrome. Now, the last thing I want to show you is something that's more experimental. This won't be for everyone, but let's go up to the search tab in the top and we're going to put in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags forward slash and then press enter to search that up. Now that'll bring you to this page here and under search flags, we're going to type in P-A-R-A, -A, para, and then we're going to scroll down and look for parallel downloading. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this, enabling parallel downloading to accelerate download speed, and this works across the board. Now do bear in mind, this is experimental. I don't recommend everyone does this. However, for what I'm seeing online, some people will say that it really helps with their speeds. So I'll leave that up to you if you want to enable it and test it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.